Wednesday, June 27, 2018. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Not a single fatal motor vehicle accident in all of 2017. That's why the Virginia DMV came to Covington on Tuesday to present the Covington Police Department with an award for safety. Uh, basically, in the calendar year of uh, 2017, uh, the city of Covington did not have one single fatality uh, in vehicle accidents in the entire year. So, uh, DMV recognized us as having no fatalities in the city of Covington. And there's more good news from the Covington Police Department. Progress on the laborious task of achieving accreditation proceeds apace. Listen. And it's basically shown that you're adhering to some of the best practices in law enforcement. Um, we are getting a three-year process done in about a year. Um, so the, the biggest hurdle was the policy. I want to say we did about 60 or 70 policies in about three months, which uh, it speaks to the credit of, of my staff. I think they did a great job in, in getting it done. VDOT and Phillips Construction Company finally got the low more exit traffic lights working yesterday evening. That's the good news. It remains to be seen what the exit traffic scene will look like when both the schools and Love's Travel Center are operating. And now a word from our sponsor. For the past several days, a helicopter can be seen in and around the Clifton Forge Iron Gate Glen Wilton area. A contractor for Virginia Power is trimming tree branches that are otherwise difficult to access. Talk about swift progress. The construction crews at the Love's Travel Center site in Lomar are moving quickly indeed. Here's a brief look at the scene earlier today. Dwayne Fitzgerald has been named to the DSLCC Educational Foundations Board, the organization announced earlier today. Fitzgerald recently retired from his position as Senior Vice President of the Bank of Bonita. Expressions of delight and wonder abounded yesterday as a Mill Mountain Zoo representative brought four animals to the Granbury Memorial United Methodist Church Fellowship Hall for area kids to pet and learn about. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Highlands Community Bank for their generous support uh, of our programs and Granbury United Methodist Church for their use of their fellowship hall. And we'll be right back. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center offers a safe transition program to get you well and back to the community. Our outdoor therapy area features different terrains and offers a unique therapeutic experience. Come see the difference. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center, living made better. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for regional obituaries. David Bruffman, 62, of Lomore, died on Monday. Patrick Crowder, 76, of Covington, died Sunday. Gertrude Campbell, 93, of Lynchburg, passed away on Wednesday. Francis Nunnally, 85, formerly of Buena Vista, died Monday. Michael Clark, 59, of Vesuvius, passed away last Friday. 
Dora Hayes, 89, of Lowmore, died on Tuesday. Charles Huffman, 72, of Lewisburg, died Tuesday. Kathleen Trainer, 92, of Covington, passed away Monday. And Sarah Lanford, 90, of Lexington, died on Monday. Much more information is available on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 88, and a low of 67. On Friday, mostly sunny, high of 92 and a low of 72. And on Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 94, and a low of 74 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, June 27, 2018. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.